Hey, it's another uh, unboxing and wrapping type video from me. You know how I love those videos. Um, this time it's Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition for uh, the PC games for Windows. Um, the Collector's Edition is uh, $69.99 plus tax Canadian. It worked out to be almost $80. I got free shipping because it was over the, um, the price minimum. Um, so I'm opening it now. The PC version is normally $49.99, so it's $20 more. Okay, just taking the covering. And it's uh, almost like um, a game box type thing, you know, a board game. It's much like that in format. See, it opens like this. Now you see the uh, comic. Whoa, whoa, don't like doing that. There, follow New Vegas. All roads. I haven't read it yet. Of course, I only just opening it. Um, I'm not sure how many pages there are. It looks decently long, like a standard um, uh, comic that you can find at a store. Um, Okay, and now you can see this. This is the uh, Lucky uh, 38 poker chip. It's clearly metal. It's nice and cool. I can't remember what they said it was made out of. Pro it's probably uh, just uh, steel or something like that. Cheap stuff or maybe aluminum, I'm not sure. It seems pretty heavy for aluminum though. Uh, besides aluminum is uh, more expensive than steel, I think. I'm not sure. And here are the other poker chips. Yep, there is in fact seven poker chips, one for each casino. I'm not opening it now because I like to uh, maintain, you know, uh, collector's level of quality. Although just opening it at all, taking the plastic wrap off of it alone is enough to decrease the value. But hey, it's there's thousands and thousands of copies of these things out there. Uh, here's the actual Games for Windows case. And there's the back. Alright, the um, requirements are virtually identical to Fallout 3. So if you can play that on your PC, you should have no problem playing the New Vegas. Um, and here is the making of Fallout New Vegas. It's a DVD. It says not for resale. I remember um, uh, Genesis cartridges used to say that. Um, that's from. Uh, I hope it has subtitles. I kind of need those because my hearing isn't so great. And this is the uh, poker card set, playing cards. Um, you're supposed to be able to play. Um, supposed to be able to play the um, uh, caravan game, but you can also use it as regular playing cards. Each. Um, each card shows a different character. Uh, at least that's what I heard. It might only be the face cards that have different characters. I'm not sure. I'd have to open it. And like I said, it probably won't. Well, I will eventually, most likely. But I'll be very, very careful about it. And I also got this, which actually arrived the day before. Yeah. I got. I ended up getting this uh, a couple of days, a few days after the actual release. I got this. Um this yesterday along with uh, Borderlands Game of the Year edition guide. Ooh, this is a uh, nice, it's a collector's edition game guide. Um, and you can see in here I got a limited edition code. It tells me what number it is I'm assuming. Um, number uh, 14,460. So um, I'm not that limited is it? Um, I bet the uh, developers um, and other people closely associated with the project got the number 1 through 10. Well, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go install this game now. Um, uh, if you've got the game, play it right now. It's supposed to be very buggy, but what are you going to do?